Girls night out and coming home at 2 a.m. smelling like cigarettes. Going to happy hour frequently. Girls weekends in Vegas. Girls weekends in Palm Springs. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another subscriber email story. Guys, if you want to send in a story, send it to truestorynation at gmail.com. Here, I'll put it on the screen. That's truestorynation at gmail.com. Whether it's a funny story, a successful story, a story where you've gone through something and you made it out successfully, man. You, you took some hits, you took some burns, and you made it out, and you leveled up or you got to see the person who did you wrong receive karma, or you had a small opportunity to get some revenge, send those stories in to that email. But you guys read the title? Let's get into it. So, after taking the RP, I am certain my mom cheated on my dad for years. Do I bring this up now that she is in her late 60s? Oh, man. Hey, Drew, before I get into my story, I just need to say, I love your channel and recommend it to all my friends who don't understand female nature and are prone to taking the leap of faith towards divorce. Well, salute, man. I appreciate that, man. I'm, I'm glad you like the channel. I, I really appreciate that, man. That means a lot. Thanks. And thanks for sharing it, man. That's that's wow. In fact, since September 2020, after realizing I've I have always been red-pilled at my core, only, un only unaware of my blue pill blindfold. The blindfold came off after discovering your channel and all the other Manosphere channels out there. Keep up the good work. You help men who desperately need to wake up and unplug from the Matrix. There is a conviction to your voice and passion for your purpose that truly stands out and keeps me a captive student. Anyways, this story isn't about me as I always had multiple women, even in my early 20s, before I established my career and made my money. So one-itis has never hindered my ability to hold masculine frame with the women in my life. I am 35 now, make $105,000 per year, have assets and was lucky to be born 6 foot tall and got my body to fitness model level. So this story is about my mom. Though I don't have proof of her infidelity, as I was a naive boy at the time, I am certain she cheated on my dad countless times. I consider myself an expert on the signs of a cheater after all the manosphere content I have consumed, and all the signs of cheating spouses applied to my mom. Girls night out and coming home at 2 a.m. smelling like cigarettes, going to happy hour frequently, girls weekends in Vegas, girls weekends in Palm Springs, were all things my mom did often, from when I was about age 5 until about age 20. My mom has always stayed in, in impeccable shape, even when she was in her 40s and 50s, but especially in her 30s, so I know guys were checking her out, especially at the gym. One time I recall her asking my dad if he was okay if a guy from her gym, Jose, took her to the movies, and my dad stupidly allowed it. What? I know darn well what what was on Jose's mind because the truth is, if there was no chance at sex, a guy would not waste his time and money taking a woman to the movies. Now, my sister and I resemble my dad, so I know he is my father, though my older brother, not so much. We even joked many times that he could be my half-brother. My mom also has a dark past. She reluctantly admitted to me when the show Breaking Bad was was hot that she and her friends were doing meth in the early 90s for several years whoa she mentioned going to drug dealers drug dealers house at the peak of her addiction and even took me there a handful of times though i vaguely remember because i was very young she beat that addiction thank god yeah thank god she did man and I'm glad nothing happened to you. Oh, the carelessness, taking your child to a place like that. Wow. But how irresponsible to take your young kids to a dealer's house to score a bag of meth. Absolutely, just like I said. Anyway, selfish behavior is my mom to a T. She worked sparsely 
and it was my dad who brought home the bacon. The money mom made was for her, not us. Mm, mm, mm. On to my dad. My dad was a nice guy, and that was his problem. Always subservient to my mom, making her his sole purpose. She would scream and yell at him, plus order him around like a lap dog, subordinate in front of me. And I'd watch him take it like a true beta who doesn't wear the pants in the house he paid for. Several times I told him to stand up for himself and he quietly told me to shut up and gave me that happy wife, happy life BS, though he truly did not look happy saying that. My mom had a friend, Donna, and her husband Rick, who had a bigger house in a nicer neighborhood with a swimming pool in their large backyard. At times my mom would bring things up that Rick was doing to make more money and my dad hated that and hated Rick. My mom took me my brother and sister to their house often as kids during the summer to go swimming. And my dad never went once. He always stayed behind and I understand why. My mom was disrespecting him and that hurt. Yeah. So what do I do? Though I don't have proof of her cheating, she is allergic to accountability like most women and would just deny it if I bring it up anyway. It is unsettling as hell though. And my mom and I are not on the greatest terms, as it is. They are still together. My dad is 71 and my mom is 67 and seem fairly happy together in old age. I absolutely will not bring this up to my dad. This is more for my mom. I just want to ask her what went on during all those girls' night outs she often went to and all the girls' trips to Vegas and Palm Springs. I want her to know I know. Would this even do any good? Need advice on if this is even worth confronting my mom with this late. What do you think? Also, my dad has to know she was cheating, right? Because somehow I doubt he truly does. Wow, let me give my thoughts on this. You and I both know, bro. You and I both know. Yeah, she was cheating. She definitely was cheating, man. Um... She definitely did exactly what she wanted to do in the relationship because she knew she could get away with it. The thing is, if, if, say you went to her, you guys are just having a casual conversation and reminiscing and you're like, mom, be honest with me. You know, I don't know. You guys having a drink or whatever. I don't know. Mom, be honest with me. All those times. Cause I, I, you know, I saw how you treated dad growing up. I saw how dad was when I don't believe a man should be that way in his family. He should be the head of his household, blah, 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 whatever. Mom, did you ever cheat on dad? Just be honest. And at her old age, she might keep it real with you. She might. I don't know. She might still just be like, no, I've never. I would never. You know, she may, but there's a chance she may tell you. But me and you both know the signs are there. You know, the signs are there. She definitely was cheating. She went to the movies with some guy from the gym. A lot of people in the gym sleep with each other. A lot of people meet and hook up in the gym. We we know what went down. You know what went down. We all know what went down. And dad, I feel bad for dad. Maybe dad did know the whole time and he just didn't care. You know, maybe there's a reason he felt so down on himself and he 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 allowed someone to disrespect him for years. You know, there's a chance your older brother may not be his. That happens a lot. We all know this. So man, um, it's, it's, it's really up to you. Like if you just, me personally, okay. If I was in your shoes, I would ask my mom at 67 and we went through, I went through the same exact life you went through. I would ask her just hanging out or whatever, or chilling and relaxing. And we're talking and reminiscing. I'd, I'd ask her just to see what she said. And if she, if she lies, I was like, come on, mom. I we're come on. I'm grown mom. Come on. What happened? What'd you do? tell me you know what i'm saying i'll say it just like that and just try to just to see but we know we know she did i really appreciate this email man i really enjoyed this i really uh, i didn't i don't enjoy the fact that your father had to deal with that and go through that but i like i like this story i, I like i like this uh point of view and you telling it from your point of view seeing your parents grow up it's a really good email man i appreciate it Guys, let me know what you think about this. Should he tell his mom? What do you think? Do you think his father knew? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for sending in this email.
Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you are new here, guys, I'm going to attach a previous story, a flashback story. Check out that story and also stick around and check out a playlist here on the channel. That being said, I'll catch you guys at the next one. My girlfriend has been sleeping with my roommate. Oh, man. Tough, man. Apparently, this has been going on for a while. I've been dating her for over a year. And I'll confess, I'm not very good in bed, but I try. Oh, man. I love her, and I thought our relationship was great. Then last night, I saw her effing my roommate. My best friend, who I thought I could count on. I'm socially awkward, so I don't have that many other friends, but I thought I didn't need any more, as long as I had him. I saw them openly effing each other in the living room. I couldn't help but stare in disbelief. Then I heard my roommate tell my girlfriend to keep it down so as to not wake me up. Dang, they, you were in the other room. I'm, I'm thinking you just walked in the house. She responded by saying that I never heard them before, so this has clearly been going on a while. Now, as I said before, I'm not very good in the bedroom, mainly because I believe I'm small. I've always been insecure about this. Seeing my girlfriend cheat on me has amplified this considerably. I don't know what to do. It won't be easy to find a new place to stay and get out of my lease. My family is abusive, so they're not an option. My few other friends are closer to my roommate than me, and I wouldn't call them friends of mine. And I've emotionally invested a lot into my girlfriend. She was my first one. Can't pretend I didn't see what I saw, but I don't know how I can get out of my apartment. And if I do, I'm going to be all alone. I am already dealing with pain from being betrayed by two people I thought I could trust and from my personal insecurities. I am terrified at the prospect of being completely alone as well. Wow. L let me give my thoughts. He's being completely honest. He's, he's being honest with himself. He's coming out and straight up telling you guys, hey, I'm insecure. I have a girlfriend, but I'm insecure. This is what happened. Look, I've said it before. You guys have I'm sure I've heard other people say it. If you're not sleeping with her, or if you're not sleeping with her the way she wants you to sleep with her, meaning if you're not doing it right, someone else is. If you're not hitting it, someone else is. If you're not hitting it right, someone else is. That that all plays into the whole, I don't know if you guys remember me saying once before when I was talking about relationships and all that. And I said, you got to be willing to play the game. There's women who have cheated on our husbands or boyfriends because he was tired. He works too much and he's not he's not in the mood. And she'll just cheat. And her excuse would be, I need my needs fulfilled. So you got to be willing to play the game. If you're extra tired and you've been working too much, you just don't you're not feeling it that night. You you got to be willing to do it even when you don't want to. And in this case, he's saying that he's just not good. Um, I'm assuming like she just, she I don't know if she kept lying to you or was she telling you that you weren't good? Because if she tells you that, you should have just dipped. And if you feel that way about yourself, you need to just not be in a relationship and work on yourself. Find things that make you happy. Find things that make you happy because getting into a relationship feeling like you you're never going to fulfill a woman sexually you're just setting yourself up for failure if you ask me you're just setting yourself up for failure so why even get into a relationship and it, it's it's very messed up it's messed up that your friend it was your friend who did this to you that's unfortunate so you you lose a friend and you lose a girlfriend and you're afraid to be alone, but here's the thing. We have to be okay with being by ourselves. How can you be happy with anybody if you're not happy by yourself? You know, you you should be great by yourself. You shouldn't have any issues by yourself. So um, I, I hope 
and you haven't he has an update for this i hope you end up leaving the situation of course because it's just not it's not a good fit for you and focus on yourself and just become the best version of yourself find things that make you happy but let's check out the comments here someone said people are messed up sorry man make sure you kick her to the curb and find a new roommate next semester if you don't experiencing any more episodes where you end up watching your roommate and girlfriend have sex can cause emotional scarring plus trust issues that could carry over to your next relationship i don't think he should be thinking about a relationship like you he's already he's already counted himself out when it comes to pleasing a woman a relationship is the last thing you need to be thinking about do other things do other things to make yourself better thank you i don't know i don't know that's what i need to do i'm just worried about being alone after not to mention that moving away can be a challenge right now but he's really really afraid to be alone and that's that's probably your biggest issue honestly that's what you need to be worried about you know um you're just so afraid to be by yourself. It shouldn't be that way. You're grown. You're a grown man. You shouldn't be. A, you shouldn't be afraid to be by yourself. Work on not being socially awkward. Work on. I don't know if you need to lose weight. Hit the gym. There's other. There's other things that's more important. Someone said, if you can afford it, try to break the lease. Line up another place and move. I know it's difficult to do, but break it off with break it off with the girlfriend. Tell the roommate he's ish of a friend, and if the friendship meant anything, he'll sign off and taking over the entire lease. As for size, I'm hoping you're fat. I say so because losing weight and doing sit-ups can give you more length. There are surgeries as well. Save for it. You really need to let them both know how much it hurt you and how terrible they are for doing such a thing. If you hear the word sorry, just cut them off. And let them know that you know they are sorry and you're letting two sorry mother effers be together. Find some damn friends. Try going to a Reddit meetup. Definitely hit the gym. Definitely get over being socially awkward. Get out and just talk to people. Just go to events. You just go to events in your nearby in the city. Just randomly just go to places. Go to go to museums. Just go out and just talk to people. Get over it. Look at videos where it talks about not being awkward. Do things like that. But guys, let's check out the update. Update. My girlfriend has been sleeping with my roommate. Don't know how to post a link to my original post. You can find it on my profile. First of all, thanks to everyone. While there were some rather unpleasant responses, like the guy who called me a puss for being upset or the woman who messaged me to say that if I couldn't satisfy my girlfriend, I should let better men do so because she deserved it. Dang. The overwhelming majority were kind and sympathetic. I couldn't respond to most because there was so many, but I assure you, you are appreciated. I talked to my landlord who was sympathetic and offered me another apartment if I continued paying my lease. It's an informal arrangement where I'm still legally residing and paying for my old apartment but staying in another. As expected, my now former friends took my old roommate's side and I've cut them out of my life. Good. I'm not doing the best I could be mentally. I'm all alone in dealing with personal insecurities, loneliness, and heartbreak. Still, at least I am out of my earlier situation. I've taken a week off work and arranged to see a therapist. All in all, my situation isn't great, but it's unlikely to get worse, and I'm working on improving it. Edit. I have been completely overwhelmed by the response to this. I have literally hundreds of messages of support and lots of comments urging me to stay strong. There is no possible way I can respond to all of them, so I just wanted to say thank you for everything. And to everyone, you are all amazing. Wow. All right, let's check out the comments on the updates. Someone said, good for you for making the changes necessary to get yourself out of that situation and remove the not good people from your life. This must be so hard, but you're being stronger than you feel you are. Clearly, do not listen to trolls trying to upset you. They wouldn't listen to their own advice if they were in your situation. So F them. I agree. 
Keep taking good care of yourself as you go through this pain, right? Guys, I know a lot of you guys send me emails and you, some of you start off saying like you're a little embarrassed to talk about what you want to talk about. Um, people are going to leave bad comments. Ignore trolls. Just ignore them. Listen to the good advice and take that advice. Someone said the landlord is the true bro in this story. OP would do well to send the landlord a thank you gift, if only just a thank you note. Agreed, landlords aren't always this nice, and it goes a long way to show your appreciation with a note or a gift, absolutely. So a, a woman actually responded, she said, FYI, size does not matter, and I personally prefer smaller ones. You can grind the corn and make a woman orgasm during intercourse. You'll be a god. Google it. Someone replied to that and said, I'm a woman and I have never heard of grinding the corn before, but the more I think about it, it the more it makes sense. You're not wrong. And someone else said, yeah, it's not common because most guys tend to think sex is a male focused experience. Then they complain when their significant other has better things to do than not orgasm. This way in a couple others gives me multiple orgasms in a very short amount of time. I'm always ready to go with I'm always ready to go if the guy knows what he is doing. And on that note, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments.